Hey guys, it's Heather. So today I am back to film another video. I know that I have been MIA um, for quite a while and I do apologize for that and I do appreciate you guys sticking around with me. Um, there's just been a lot going on and being sick and like right now I'm, I'm sick and I'm kind of clammy and it's just like oh not a good look <laughs> but I know you guys will see past that because you're amazing so again thank you for sticking around with me um, welcome to all my new subscribers I have gained quite a bit since I've been away from YouTube but uh, I am back today and I want to film a few videos um, as you can see I got my Christmas decor going on I do want to film um, the fall favorites tag I've been dying to film that and I just haven't had a chance but I'm definitely going to be doing that after this video, even though my Christmas decor is up, but it's still fall time. So, all right. So today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to film a video on the new Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. So I just got this in the mail yesterday and I wanted to jump on here and do a video because I know a lot of people are curious about this palette. I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on this palette. So I definitely wanted to um, share with you guys, you know, um, my thoughts on it since I just got it. So it's going to be definitely a first impressions. Now, um, I do have this on my eyes today and the shadows are really, really blendable, um, very pigmented. And again, you know, they blend really easily. I didn't find that there was a lot of um, fallout as I was applying it. I didn't have to really clean up underneath the eyes hardly at all. So I really did appreciate that. So I'm going to show you the first Tartlet palette, which looks like this. This is the first one that came out. Um, this one is definitely more on the plummy purple side. Let me flip it over here. So this is what this one looks like. Now I haven't got much use out of this. Um, I don't. I don't know why. I think it's just because I have so much in my collection that I just really haven't reached for this but if you are into the plum neutrals this is definitely going to be for you um, because there is a lot of plums um, purpley tones and of course they have your classic brown so this is the first one now the second one um, the in bloom I feel it's definitely more on the warm side and um, it's really really pretty so here's the packaging on this now when you open this up, this is definitely more on the warm brown side. There's not any plums or anything like that. Now this palette is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The, the matte shadows in here are incredible. They are so soft and very, very pigmented. Now not, I, it, it's almost like it's not what I've seen before from Tarte. So I was really impressed whenever I swatched them because they were very pigmented. Now what I love about them is they blend really nicely. So they do swatch really great, but when you put them in your crease, they blend nicely. So I do like that. So um, again, this is what the palette looks like, and I can give you guys um, a closer view to it. So this is what it looks like here. Um, again, you get 12 shades, and they're just absolutely beautiful. I mean, you got some really pretty warm tones. Um, you got really good crease colors and then you have some topes in there so you can almost do like a cool tone eye a warm tone eye um, and then kind of in between so I really appreciate that in this palette because I think you know there's something for everybody in this palette the darks are amazing um, they're very very pigmented as well as you know they'd be great as a liner um, which I used one of them kind of to smoke out um, the upper lash line a little bit and I think it's incredible. So definitely a really good palette um, and these are $45. You know they have the first one and then this is the in bloom. Uh, this right now is only available on Ulta.com and ac the actual Tarte. Uh, I believe it's Tarte.com website um, and I know they're supposed to hit the stores um, I believe like the middle of December but I will find all that out and I'll put it in the description box but as of right now you can get it at Ulta.com um, and Tarte's website so I really do like this palette when I used it today I really like the way that it applied um, on my eyes I didn't have any trouble with pigmentation with blending or anything like that they weren't patchy um, so I really feel like they are really good quality shadows now as far as how it compares to this I think there's total differences I mean there are some similarities as far as the blending shades but as far as the tone of the palette this is definitely more on the purple uh, plum nude side and this one I think has a mix um, there's definitely not purple in this but there's cool tone um, 
taupes and then there's warm tone shadows and of course your classic you know what you need to create a look so I really really like this palette more than I do this one and the only reason is because I typically don't gravitate towards plums I bought this because I wanted to kind of get out of my comfort zone but it's just not something that I'm really into um, I need to play with it a little bit more as far as the shades but I'm very I love the warm tones or I love the cool tones like I, I just I don't know I'm not I'm not real keen on the purples yet but that's okay you know if that's your thing that's definitely a good palette to invest in now I do want to point out that it does come with a card um, a little tartlet paper and it gives you two different ideas charmer and this is a matte cream color shade now I do want to point out that I am so impressed with this shade because it actually shows up on my fair skin I don't know about you fair skin girls out there, but it's so incredibly hard to highlight your brow bone, you know, with a matte shadow, because I do like, because I have such dry skin under there, that sometimes if I put too shimmery of a, you know, under under the brow highlight, it just looks, it, it just accentuates it way too much. So I find like a really good matte cream color looks amazing under there, as you can see. But it's not white. I mean, it definitely, you know, is a really good cream kind of on the white side shade and I just really appreciate that I think it's amazing that they did that um, jet setter is just a really pretty um, cool tone kind of you know um, taupey shade it's very cool tone again you can see how pigmented and how they just apply so smooth I'm so impressed with them so that's a really good crease color it's very much on the cool side rocker is your just your you know um, really pretty metallic taupe color and again super pigmented and I just love this a lot so I'm going across I'm sorry <laughs> okay so Rocker is a really pretty kind of taupey um, metallic shade. It's beautiful. It'll be a beautiful on the lid. Um, and then Smoke Show is just your classic cool tone dark brown. Very, very pigmented. I'm telling you these and it's just not patchy, but this is definitely your cool tone dark brown. So that's the first four right there. Very, very pretty. Okay, so um, the second row here is um, the first one is Flower Child, and that's a really pretty um, kind of peachy um, skin tone color, and it's very, very pretty and pigmented. Um, Smarty Pants is just your standard, um, really good crease shade um, on the peachy side, uh, more on the warm side. Firecracker is probably my favorite shadow in this palette. It's very, very metallic bronze color, and it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, I, I love it. I think it's a great crease color. I think it's an amazing, I used it in the outer corner today, and it was amazing, even though it's really metallic, but it's just a beautiful bronze shade. I absolutely love it. That's definitely one of my favorite shadows in this palette is Firecracker. It's beautiful. It's definitely more metallic than the uh, Rocker shade, but again, it's just, I just love it. It's beautiful. Um, Activist is just your standard dark, dark brown. It doesn't, it's just like your, your standard dark brown. Not too cool, not too warm, where Smoke Show above it is very cool tone dark brown. So that's that row. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Uh, Funny Girl is here on the bottom, and it's just your kind of metallic pink champagne shade. It's not really pigmented, um, but I did use it on the lid. It just didn't wow me as much. I wish it had the metallic factor that Firecracker had. I think that would have been a beautiful lid shade. Um, if you wet your brush, I didn't today, but when I was playing around with it, if you do wet your brush, it definitely will give you a more metallic finish. I just wish it was just a little bit more oomph to it, but it's still, it's still a beautiful shade. I wouldn't call it a dud necessarily. I just wish it had a little bit more pit pigmentation metallic feel to it. Sweetheart is just your standard pink um, neutral shade. It's great for the crease. I think it's beautiful. Rebel is one of my other favorites. It's an absolutely gorgeous, really rich, warm, um, uh, you know, crease color. I think it's beautiful. It's a warm brown. Um, I absolutely love it. I can swatch it for you. It's super pigmented. It's very, very smooth and oh, it's beautiful. I use that in the crease and you see how pigmented it is on my hand and you would think whoa you're gonna really have to tap off your brush when you put it in the crease but when I put it in the crease it blended out really nicely and I was able to get it toned down it wasn't just like 
crazy in your face but I feel like you could pack that on the lid and get a real rich lid warm brown color um, on your lid so I think it's very versatile and I really like that about that color and then leader is the last one here and it's just your matte dark reddish brown very very beautiful again it's super super pretty it has you know some warmth to it very very beautiful um you know and that again that's the one that i used on um to smoke out my lash line so that is kind of my first impressions and thoughts on this uh, new tartlet in bloom or tartlet 2 palette um, again i will list all the information down below as far as when it's going to hit the stores but as of right now i know it's on ulta.com and then tarts website so i really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of quick at least I hope it was quick because I can talk um, first impressions on this palette I really recommend it $45 I think is a great deal for 12 very good shadows there really wasn't a dud in this palette for me which is kind of unheard of for me because there's always like a shadow or two in a palette that I'm like why did they put that in here have about it is that funny girl I wish was just a little bit more metallic a little bit more pigmented but again it's on my lid it does you know it does swatch really pretty it's just you know again it's just not as Baboom, as I would like for it to be but you know it's still a really good shade it's a very subtle lid shade so if you're not into you know the really crazy metallic shadows because some people are not then I think that would be you know a good lid shade for you I think it'd be good for a mature um, eyes you know as far as you know if, if there's a lot of you know wrinkles and fine lines and stuff I think that would be a beautiful shade because it's not so in your face and metallic to where it's gonna accentuate all of that so that might be something to keep in mind as well but but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to include the swatches in the video. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I really recommend it. I just wanted to get this video up because I was super excited when I saw that this was coming out. And um, a friend of mine actually, you know, had, you know, told me that it looked really pretty. And I was like, I hadn't even heard of it. And then I went and started digging. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's a beautiful. So, again, if you have the first tart pa tartlet palette, um, I think this is so much different. I don't think there's really enough similarities to, you know, just say skip this one. Like, I like this one more than I do this one. And it's only because this one is so purpley tones and I typically don't gravitate towards that. But again, I think they're both good palettes. I think, you know, the pigmentation is incredible and I think they're beautiful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please let me know down below. Um, and again, I will put all of the information that I can find on the Tartlet and Bloom palette as far as when it's going to hit Ulta, when it's going to hit Sephora um, and things of that sort because I know a lot of people would rather swatch it in person before buying it and I totally get that. Um, so hopefully this video kind of gave you an idea if you should pick it up or not. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and again, welcome to all my new subscribers and hello to all my old subscribers. I love you guys so much, every one of you, um, for all the nice comments and everything like that that you um, are constantly showing me support, even though I vanish sometimes. But um, yeah, so I love you guys and I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye!